think it's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure. I need three Philly goats. Archie, yeah. Luca, you in? Yeah. Tell us the story of the three Philly goats gruff. Gruff. Three Philly goats gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass all day long. They ate and ate till it was gone. Oh, look at that. Oh, fresh green grass. <laughs> Across the river, the little goats spied a field of grass on the other side. Cross the bridge and you pay a toll. Not with coins, you feed the troll. Oh, oh my! The three billy goats gruff were very scared of the troll. But they were also very hungry. Little billy goat gruff just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> so off he went. I may be scared, but I'm hungry too. As the Philly goat trip trapped by, the troll popped up from under the bridge and said, Who's not trip trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you. <laughs> I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws. It's only me, a baby goat. I'm skinny. You see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, uh, beat it, kid. <laughs> now Middle Goat was next to cross, and off he went trip chop. But on the bridge, the troll appeared. There's a tasty chop. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Just me, old troll. I'm off to eat that uh, sweet green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm almost skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like my brother, see? He's a butterball. Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for big brother. <laughs> So the troll let the middle billy goat gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty big brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the billy goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's big billy goat, you hairy monster. Hey, that doesn't even rhyme. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge. How about some applause? <laughs> Be very hungry. <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too. I dare you go to cross my path. My horns will charge you, shoo! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his big pointy horns <laughs> and sent him tumbling backwards over the bridge. To be seen again. So now I'll see my brothers too, and we'll eat until we're fat. We tricked that troll with a plan, you see. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? I like it. <laughs> <laughs>how about Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Yeah. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah! There once was a girl all dressed in red who went to her grandma's sickly bed. She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell and visit Grand for a short spell. Now remember, don't talk to any strangers. <gasps> I promise. Mama gave Red some special teas. Grandma's very favorite cheese. But in the woods, a wolf stopped Red. Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, um, 
You're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you. But I'm off to Grand's. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> The wolf sneaked into Grandma's place I'll hide you so there's not a trace He locked her in, got into bed With Granny's nightcap on his head Help me! Poor Granny cried Why come in, dear? Why, Granny? Said Red and she walked right in Oh, I've been wondering how you've been <laughs> I'm, I'm okay But she sounded weird uh, Granny said when do you have a beard? Oh, oh, oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. And Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny, what big teeth you have. The better, my dear, to eat you with. <gasps> The better to eat you <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf And you better stop being a bully Or you won't have any friends! <laughs> Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess, Little Red I've learned my lesson now She said She learned her lesson now She said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson uh -huh. He sure did And I sent him away And he never came back See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese <laughs> <laughs>
say you're sorry! You tricked us again! That's just not nice! You lied to us! <laughs> it was just a joke! The villagers were not happy, but the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. You bet. One fine day while with his flock, a wolf appeared. The boy was shocked. He cried out to the village folks. Help me, please. This is not a joke. Ah, la -di -da. Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. But no one paid attention then Thought it was a joke again They ignored the shepherd's plea Just relaxed and drank their tea Hey, this is not funny! Help me, help me, a wolf! No one came. The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore. The boy came running into town. Everybody gathered round. He's the one who made us mad. I'm sorry I behaved so bad. I really am. I've learned my lesson and I'll never lie again. <laughs> Joey, tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time, cause, cause, <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks, in the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there, I'll be quiet as a mouse. What did she first see? A table full of scrummy food! Yum! Porridge! One, two, three! Oh! But the first one was too cold! Ooh! And the second one was too hot! <gasps> Ouch! Oh! But the third one was just right! Mm. And she ate it all in a shot! to a million pieces. Oh my, look what I did. <laughs> oh, well, this adventure has made me so sleepy. I think I need a nap. Goldilocks climbed the stairs to a bedroom with three beds. <gasps> wow, look at that. I think I'll rest my head. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. was too lumpy. Oh, ow! And the second one squishy too. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but the third one was just right. <gasps> this will do. <sighs> While Goldilocks snored away, the three bears came back home. The front door was wide open. Oh dear, it looks like we're not alone. Eating my porridge! Oh, someone's been eating mine too! And somebody's finished my every drop! That was mine, thank you! Oh dear! Hmm! Someone's been sitting in my chair! Oh, someone's been sitting here too! Uh oh! Guess what? My chair is broke! And that was good bamboo! I think I hear something upstairs! 
been sleeping in my bed. And wouldn't you know it, mine too. And someone's been, look, she's in my bed. Oh dear, who are you? Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for everything. Goldie raced into the woods and hid from everyone. The bears could not believe their eyes. The bears could not believe their eyes. That really happened? <laughs> no, it's just a fairy tale. Oh, but where are the fairies? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Mom, tell us the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans. For that milking cow They're magic beans oh. And they'll grow a crop as high as the sky Wow Jack went home to show his mom But when she saw what he had done She threw away the beans outside Oh Jack, just beans, oh mom She cried But, but mom, they're magic beans Oh, magic schmagic The next day where the beans did land A giant beanstalk grew Oh man But when he went inside the place A big fat giant with an ugly face Came thumping in so very loud Shook the heavens and the clouds Fee fi fo fum I smell a boy Yum, yum, yum Fee fi fo fum Ready or not, here I come Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer. Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Aha! He said, the giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hand. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Three, five, four, four. I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Three, five, four, four. Ready or not, here I come. And acted quick He grabbed that fine white little head And even grabbed a singing harp And climbed down that stalk again La la But the giant came thundering after Jack And threw himself on the beanstalk When I got home I grabbed an axe And chopped that beanstalk all the way down And that big old giant went hurtling off Never ever to be found With the hen's golden eggs Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast. And neighbors came from near and far. The harp played songs and sang along. Jack, you are a shining star. Jack, you are a star. So, did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs. Oh, but... You could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Sorry, Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Oh. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice, mousey. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that Always sets you free! So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Once upon a time. No, wait. Okay. Do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. Three little bears went out to play. I built a house of straw today. Said one little bear, and just like that, he built that house, and then he took a nap. But a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in! Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Instead of straw Out to play went two little bears My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear and just like that He built that house and then he took a nap But once again that mean old wolf woke him up I'm a big bad wolf and I see you there Open the door little bear beware oh, dang. He pounded the door Let me come in Not by the hairs on my berry chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and 
I'll blow your house in. And he did, and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Oh, no. No. We're gonna have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bear, and she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks, said the third little bear, and just like that, she built that house, and then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up. I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware! No! Oh. He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hairs of his very chin chin! Then I'll huff, then I'll puff, then I'll blow your house in! And he tried, and he tried, and he tried again! <gasps> Sheesh! Get a hold of yourself! <gasps> Did he blow the house in? Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, <laughs> 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 no, Daddy. Would you look at that? Ooh. Listen to this show. Okay. And this one too. I can hear the ocean. And wait, it sounds like baby sharks. <laughs> Listen. Let me hear. Oh. They're saying just rub the two shells together and Do 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 do
My little adventurers! Here we are! <laughs> Goodness gracious, you're all wet! Wherever have you been? Um, oh, we've just been swimming <laughs> in our imagination! <laughs> yeah, that's it! <laughs> that was it! <laughs> My little munchkins. <laughs> honey, honey, wake up time. Breakfast's on in ten. I'm coming. Come on, mister. Rise and shine. I won't ask you again. <laughs> oh, no, no, mommy, mommy. I want to stay in bed. I'm sleepy as can be. I just can't lift my head. <sighs> well, okay, my little. Wookie sure won't mind. Wait, what? He can eat your pancakes. Huh? Oh, you're just too no, kind. No, no, no. Now wait a minute, Mommy. I think I can wake up. Oh, please don't feed my pancakes to our hungry little pup. I'll eat them. No. <laughs> oh, look at this mess. <laughs> you like oh, wow. it? Clean up your room, my little a mess. I did. And oh my goodness, baby, <laughs> would you just look at that dress? <laughs> no, no, mommy, mommy, I like it just this way. Everything is colorful. Everything's okay. Oh. But look, honey, sweetie, yeah? if you keep your paints in here,
Please come feed him so Wookie doesn't cry. Oh, Wookie. Yes. Oh, yes. My favorite word is yes. Yes is very happy. It brings out the very best. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. My favorite word is yes. Yes is just so happy. It brings out the very best. That's what I always say. What's your favorite word? I bet you'll never Silly. Okay, now wait for it. I think I know. You know what? It's yes! 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 Oh dear, oh no, my baby's played with dough. And now your hands are dirty, so clean them up. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. there's no more time to play. It's time to eat, so wash your hands and please do as I say. Yes, ma'am. Yes, oh yes. Bubbles on my nose, bubbles on my chin. 
You smell so sweet. Oh. Mama says... You smell divine while you're good enough to eat. <laughs> I smell good. Oh, young girl. Look, I made a crocodile with sudsy floppy ears. <laughs> a bearded lady with a hat. It's so much fun in here. <laughs> Bubbles on my belly. Bubbles on my chin. from the cookie jar. Not me. Not I. Not me. We made a batch of cookies, the peanut butter kind. Yum. But they seem to have gone missing. Have I lost my mind? Uh -oh. I looked inside the pantry, but heavens, they're not there. Oh, no. My very favorite cookies just vanished in <gasps> the air. Oh. Who took my cookies? Did someone eat
crispy bright green pepper eggplants in purple suits. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> and here's a giant red tomato. What? A, a tomato? tomato? No, that's a fruit. Oh. They're green and yellow and sometimes red.
Yeah. Introducing the greatest pet in all the land. <laughs> Wookie! Yeah. <laughs> My pet is kind of funny. His nose is kind of runny. He loves to run and play. Go fetch. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Wookie, catch the ball. Wookie, here's the ball. <laughs> Wookie, you're the best. I'm so glad that we took you home. <laughs> They show their love. <laughs> do you have a pet? I do. A happy little pet. Uh -huh. A furry little pet. Or two. Or, or five. A pup. A mouse. A, a bunny. bunny. <laughs> a pet that loves just you. And, and me too. I have a pet. A happy little pet. A furry little pet. She got her name. I have a little bunny. She's soft and sweet and white. I feed her bits of lettuce. She takes itty bitty bites. Oh, look at the bunny. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Do you have a pet? A happy little pet. A furry little pet. Or two. A dog. Let's go 
is swimming. Yeah, it's so hot. <laughs> you too? <laughs> come on, Woogie. You can come too. <laughs> sure. <laughs> come on, Woogie. <laughs> Look at us swim. The water's cool. We are swimming in the pool. Everybody in. Summer's hot. So jump right in. Mama 
is gonna buy you a mockingbird And if that mockingbird won't fly Mama's gonna show you a starry sky And if that starry sky turns dark Mama's gonna take you to the park La 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 Little baby, have no cares Mama's gonna give you a teddy bear And if that teddy bear feels nice Mama's gonna show you some dancing mice And if those dancing mice run away Mama's gonna tell you it's all Hush, little baby, now fast asleep Rest your head and count some sheep See the sheep fly in the sky While I 